Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to take an Ionium cutting. About three years ago I started off with one plant. And due to one of the stems getting knocked off, broken off, I've ended up with over 21 plants. Now they're really easy to propagate. These are all mine. They're all at different stages, some single stemmed, some multi stemmed. And there's also some outside, there's some larger ones over here. It's recommended that you take the cuttings in autumn and spring, but I've took them at any time of the year and I've never had a problem propagating any of them with them rooting or anything. Um, I've, I've took my cuttings if they've got broken or the weight of the plant itself has snapped at the stem. Now this one's on the way to snap in, so I'm going to take a cut in on this one. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do it. It doesn't really matter where you make your cut, you can make it right up against the mother plant, or you can make it further down. If, if you do leave a bit of a stub, you may get baby rosettes growing out the end. Um, but I don't want to keep this long because it's very thin at the end and if another rosette does start growing it will just flop exactly the same as this one has. So I'm going to chop there. Okay. So I've got my secateurs. I'm just going to chop there. Okay. And because this is long and curly I'm going to chop chop that off and now I'm going to leave this end to callus over so I'll leave that for two or three days in the greenhouse and um, we'll come back to it and I'll show you it calloused over and what we do next so it's been five days since I chopped this baby rosette off the mother plant and it's nicely calloused over can see that. I made the stalk a bit shorter because I didn't like how bendy it was and I removed some of the lower rosette leaves. So now I'm going to put it up. So I'm going to mix 50-50 grit and compost. small amount of grit in the bottom of the pot fill the pot up clam it down I'm going to leave a bit at the top so I'm going to top the pot off with gravel so that when you water it the stem doesn't rot. So I'll take a few more of these leaves off. Put 
bit more soil. And then top off with a good thick layer of gravel. Take a few more of these leaves off. Now, because this one was quite bendy, it is laying this way, but it will straighten itself out. it to settle for a few days and I'll give it a good water because my compost is already quite damp. <laughs> 